This video is sponsored by Toner. If you guys are interested in great microphones that sound amazing and are relatively inexpensive, I would highly recommend you guys to go and check out Toner. And go and check out the Toner TC20, which is the microphone that I'll be reviewing today. Thanks again for Toner for sponsoring this video. Hey you guys, what's up, Luis Awesomeness here, and today we are back with another review. Today we are with another company, this is called Toner. They make microphones, either USB or XLR microphones. These guys have very nice microphones, which we'll be checking out in just a little bit. So today we have the TC20 XLR condenser microphone. And looking at the box, you can see that it is a condenser microphone, comes with a boom arm set and a shock mount, as well as a pop filter. All nice additions. In the back, we see the manufacturer, where it came from, and yeah, looking here, we have the email, website, and it was made in China. Now let's look into it. Alright, so first thing we are greeted with is the two-year warranty card, and you can email them there, just in case you have any questions, and yeah, yeah your key to 100% protection, very nice, and we have the instruction manual. So as you can see, this is not your regular style USB, instead this is an XLR style. So this is mostly used in studios, but can be used with whatever you want. And we will see what you need to power XLR. So looking at the instructions, very simple. Thank you for purchasing it. And yeah. So what you get included in here is the microphone itself, the boom arm, the desk clamp, which we'll take a look at in just a little bit. This is very different. Um, we have the metal shock mount, we have the pop filter, and the mic cover. And we have four cable ties for cable management. And then here we have the XLR cable. This is a male to female cable, yeah, manual, and the little warranty card that we have here. So the installation process seems very straightforward and simple. Clamp it on here, put on the boom arm, put on the shock mount, put the microphone in, connect to the XLR, and use the little pop filter. So yeah, very laid out. So, what you are going to need for this XLR. You are going to need a 48 volt phantom power supply. And I will show you how this is going to be set up. But take note that without the power supply, it will not work. And yeah, here are the specifications in case anyone is interested. So this goes from 20 hertz all the way to 20,000 hertz with the decibel range. And yeah, and here's the warranty in case you guys are interested. Yeah, but putting that aside, let's get into what we came here for. So peeling off this protective layer, we get introduced to this. So let's start off with the shock mount, shall we? So this is a fairly basic, well-constructed shock mount. Yeah, seems very nice so far. First impressions, high quality. Everything is very nice. And yeah, this is the desk clamp. This is definitely a different style compared to what we are used to. And this is going to be much better, honestly. So you get the same turn, uh, the turn, same knob here, basically. And yeah, very high quality, honestly. This is all metal and it feels hefty and it feels high quality. And yeah. And keep in mind that this microphone is $70 plus the addition of the phantom power supply that you will be needing. And yeah, but for $70, same side quality so far. So this is the microphone itself. It comes in a protective sleeve. First impressions, is it's heavy. It feels nice and solid and feels great. So yeah, you can see this is the overall shape of it. And if you turn it to the bottom here, you can see that this is an XLR style connection. And we'll be showing you just a little bit more about that. Okay. 
and here we have the little uh, the little mic cover in case that may be for wind or whatever and yeah and here we have the boom arm itself so this is a very solid boom arm all metal construction of course and yeah seems very solid all right All right, so underneath this piece of protective foam, we have the pop filter right here. This is all metal construction. Here is plastic, plastic brim, and a nice mesh. And yeah, very nice, honestly. So far, so good. And here we have the cable itself. So this is going to be an XLR connection. So we have an XLR male and XLR female. And yeah, that's basically what you get and here are the four little cable ties just in case you will be needing them for cable management and whatever so yeah now I'll show you a little bit more about the power supply and what's needed to power this thing so stay tuned all right guys so this is basically what you're gonna need to power this now this is the power supply this is not sponsored by them by the way so I bought this on Amazon Basically what you are going to put is the XLR output here and the XLR input along with a form of power. And this is going to be assisted by this little thing. And this is going to be able to deliver 48 volts of power, which will be needed to power the microphone itself. On non switch here, and this is a green LED. So let me show you how to put it in. So this here is going to end up going to the microphone itself. And all you do is plug this in like this. Um, oh yeah, and this one is basically what's gonna go to the computer itself. So this is an XLR to USB. And yeah, so all you do is plug this in like here. Basically like that. And then you require this one. You push this down, put it in. Like that. And then with the USB connection that you are going to put for the DC5V, you're just going to put it in like this, like so, plug it into any USB port, and it will start generating enough power to power this thing. So, as found in the instruction manual, you're going to need this, and this is a phantom power supply which can deliver 48 volt of power, and yeah. So yeah, now let's see how to construct this thing. All right, so here are the things that you will be needing. And we can look at the instruction manual for this. So first thing that we are going to need is the clamp itself. So the clamp is going to end up going in here, like so. But we will do that in just a little bit. So all you want to do now is just bend this into the formation that you would like, have it ready. And when it comes to the shock mount, all you're going to want to do is tighten these so then it opens up, as you can see here. And when it is open enough, all you want to do is put the microphone in. Don't want to put it too far, but not too close. You can put this little protector on here. Yeah, so once you are done with that, you should be able theoretically just screw it in like this turn it around until it fits perfectly and this may take a few minutes but it'll all be worth it once you're done here and basically you just want to turn it up to your desired angle you can also put this down if it is not what you desire basically something like that and here you can tighten it in case that is what you want and yeah so having this on you can put on the pop filter now and basically all you do is you just get it loosened to what you want it to be you can open this up a little bit in case that may help and yeah so you just want to make sure that that goes in and then you just tighten it like this 
sure that it's nice and tight so then it does not fall out. And yeah, and once you are done, this should be able to go over this like so. And yeah, and now we can go back to putting this on. Opening this to your desired length of your table and how high and the height. So then it's able to go in well and you just put it on and you're done. And that is the general construction for this microphone. And yeah, so once you're done, you will have something that ends up looking like this or something like this. And yeah, now let's get into how it sounds. And if you guys should consider this and what's the benefits of picking one of these up. So let's get into that. All right guys, so this is how my regular microphone sounds. And honestly, it's not necessarily that good, but it's not necessarily awful. Um, you can still make out what I'm saying, but it's not something that would be for an ideal situation. So yeah, I mean, it, it's usable, but it's not the best. So now we'll listen in to how the TC20 performs and sounds compared to this microphone. I hope you guys like the comparison and let me know what you guys think of how each one of them sounds in the comment section below. And this is going to be how the Toner TC20 XLR microphone sounds like. So I personally think that it sounds very clear, very nice, and yeah, I mean compared to my average regular microphone, it sounds amazing, very clear, and you're able to hear all the details in my voice, and yeah. If you guys are interested in this microphone, I will leave links in the comment section below, and yeah, go and check it out. It's definitely a great microphone at a great price, and if you are going to get it, don't forget that you must get the um, phantom power supply for it to work. I'll leave links in the description for that if you guys are interested, and yeah. This microphone is highly rated, so I would highly recommend you guys to go and check it out, and yeah, thank you. Alright guys, so at the end, this toner microphone is really good for the price point, and for $60, you're actually getting a fairly good amount of value for what you're paying here. This microphone sounds amazing, and it has a lot of nice features, so XLR being one of them, and meaning that this can be used for studios and more advanced purposes than what the average Joe uses. And the only thing would be that you would need a phantom power supply, but those can go for relatively cheap and around $15, so that's not necessarily a big deal. But this microphone does sound great, and I would highly recommend it to anyone that's looking for an affordable and great microphone by that. And yeah, if you guys do like the review video so far, please let me know in the comment section below. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.